up buddy nerdigans this is the one only packer girl 89 of nerdigans inc and today's anime nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for main abyss season 2 aka the golden city of the scorching sun episode 4 titled friends so before i get into this live reaction let me just remind you to hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and I'm praying this isn't one of my last live reactions for Main Abyss because next month it looks like me and my poor Bubba Kitty, who is somewhere around here, um, are going to be homeless and sleeping on the street. It is really bad for us right now. But, but, but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, um, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, all right, I'm going to lay out the ground rules for those that are new here. And then we're going to get into this because I've been waiting for Fapuda content like this for like three years now, at least. Um, so for those that don't know, I cover anime from a manga reader's perspective and I've been covering Main Abyss for a long ass time. So yeah, this means a lot to me. It really goddamn does, especially since this is the first anime I have covered in... Like three years ever since uh, uh, my late boyfriend passed away and since I've lost everything. So yeah, this really means a lot to me. Um, I can't show the anime or the manga on the screen because yeah, I don't want a copyright strike. I do have the manga and the anime side by side so I can compare it. Um, and trust me, I don't lower my standards for anyone. I have a high standard because Main Abyss for me, as one of the gold standards for manga to anime adaptations, at least season one and um, the movies were like perfection. And I'm not going to sell for anything less. And I will say this right now. I'm not the only one that's noticed that the animation is a huge downgrade. I'm glad I'm not the only one noticing. But the writing has been fine. The soundtrack's fine. The voice acting's fine. It's just the art animation's a huge letdown. I don't know what the fuck is going on over there. But anyways, I'm excited for the Fapuda content. This is what I've been waiting for for the longest time. I swear if these fuckers mess up Fapuda, I'm going to be so pissed. Ugh. Let's get to uh, Chapter 42's adaptation of the manga, which is where this episode starts. See what's in store for us this week. Okay. Oh, Big Daddy, they did you dirty. They got rid of your texture, man. Fapuda, I wish there was more texture in your fur. And I don't like that they, for when Fapuda says her first words, I don't like that extreme close-up. Not sorry. I don't like it. Okay. So, when Fapuda is, um... I really don't like the shots for Fapuda right now. I don't like them. I don't like how the camera is working on Fapuda. It, the camera angles have been met so far. But I'm going to say this, what my main problem is with Fapuda. For Big Daddy, the lack of texture is my problem for Big Daddy's um, animation, uh, art and animation. For those of you that don't know who Big Daddy is, that is uh, Gabaroon. Because he looks like a Big Daddy from uh, Bioshock. You can tell me I'm wrong. Or you, tell me if I'm wrong that Gabaroon does not look like a big daddy from Bioshock. He totally does. Deal with it. Um, but the main thing I'm having a problem with in terms of Fapuda's design is the fur is not giving that iridescent royal feel that she does have in the manga. And the other thing I'm having a problem with is that Especially when you look at her um, when she not when she's about to attack um, Reg in um, well even after she well, no when she is about to attack Reg at like the thirty second mark one her arms don't go up all the way and two like she doesn't have like this this uh, oh god. The facial expression looks really weird here in comparison to the manga, where in the manga, like, it looks really, like, badass. But here, it just looks weird. Ugh. But, anyways, the goggles are completely wrong. You don't have the leather, um, the leather, uh, oh my god, frames. The, um, and, uh, the band. 
Yeah, the band is too wide and it's not weathered looking. There's like no texture. And it's really bugging me. Um, I'm spoiling the manga deal with it. You should have read it by now. And as I said, this is from a manga reader's perspective. Deal with it. The Cradle of Greed's on her head. Um, the one in the center is very inconsistent in particular. Because, uh, like, in the 32nd mark, it looks fine. The length is fine. Yeah, it could be maybe a little wider. But then after um, she's, uh, like, not attacking Reg, um, it looks a little too short. So, yeah, that's a problem. But god damn, she does not have enough fur. She, um, hair, like, on her head, I mean. She, it's way too short. It's way too short. What the fuck is going on? Because, like, on her head, like, her hair is so full. And it's long. What happened? Why did you cut her hair? Because you can see it in the manga, too. Her hair is a lot longer than this. She has way more hair than this. Why'd you cut it? I don't get it. Why'd you cut it? In terms of like the hair, like on um the top of her uh her uh, lower arm, I actually like the change to it. I like that it ha that um it's more jagged. I kind of like that a little bit more to give it a little bit more texture. Um, I don't mind that change. But the problem I'm having here are the eyes. The what the fuck did you do with these eyes? I hate how the eyes look. Because when you look at it in the manga, the um, iris takes up the majority of the eye. And then you have the pupil that's, um, if you're looking at the anime, the pupil is the same size as the iris in um, in the eye, uh, in Faputa's eye in the anime. That is, nah, that is incorrect. And I am not happy with it. I just, I'm just annoyed that I don't have this royal feel from Faputa's hair and, and her fur. It's just not there. That iridescence is not there. And it's frustrating. The other thing we don't have here is, and it, obviously because it was censored, um, when uh, Reg is looking at Faputa um, and he's commenting on her, he looks at her arms and he's like four arms. And then he looks at uh, her navel when he says high body temperature, the scent of the sun. And then he looks at her chest and it says, ah, hollow, but she's, and then he looks at her face and the same as Nanachi. No, nah, we didn't get that. Yes, we got censorship up in here. Of course we got censorship up in here. It's Main Abyss. And we're getting censorship in Main Abyss. Again, why? Why are we getting censorship up in here again? I don't understand this. This is Main in a fucking abyss. Why? Why are we getting censorship here? This is some bullshit. I'm tired of this crap. Out of all the anime to do censorship, you're doing it for Made in a Fucking Biss? Are you fucking for real? This is the worst anime adaptation to do a, to do censorship on. The worst one to do censorship on is Made in a Biss. I'm so pissed. I hate this censorship. It needs to stop. I will say this, though, about Faputa's skin. Her skin looks fabulous. It, I, that glowing in the skin that Faputa has on her skin, that's the glow I'm talking about that's not in her, in her fur or her hair. Where is that glow? She's supposed to be a goddamn princess. Where is the glow in the hair slash the fur that she has in her skin? That's what I'm talking about. I love uh, something that I've been really liking. I love that we are getting Veku's narration. That is the one thing I really love about how, what the anime is doing. Again, I am concerned with what's going to happen when we get to Veku's content, but I do like how Veku is narrating this because uh, this arc, especially at the end of the arc um, in particular, is really her story so i'm very i'm very satisfied with that but with faputa's art and animation the movement is is nice i will give you that the movement looks good i don't know how i feel though about the rest of it though like when she does the uh, when she envelops uh reg and leaves and 
I think what's kind of really frustrating me is some of, like, uh, Fapuna's, like, more, like, emotional, um, facial expressions in the eyes. Mine is, like, the shocked one, obviously. But, like, it's just not giving me what it needs to give. Especially, and also with the backgrounds, it's not, that's the other thing, too, that's been a problem. It's, like, when you look in the manga and you see how the backgrounds are being utilized that really give emphasis to the emotion that, um, for, exa for example, right here, that Fapuda is feeling, you really feel it. And it's not here. And I'm so let down by that. I want to see more. I want to see what I'm seeing in the manga, but like emphasized, upgraded. I want to see that and I'm not getting it. And it's really frustrating. I hate it so much. Also, Big Daddy, your texture looks horrible. I don't understand why they, they are doing you dirty, Big Daddy. They are. I really don't like it. And also the other, um, the other hollows, the Narahade, they look horrible. There's, it's the, I'm going to describe it like this. And I described, I said it last week. The thing that's going on with this art and animation that's really irritating me is that, it, and this is what it had in season one that made it so great is it lacks depth. It's very flat. It's giving you like the bare minimum. Sometimes it will go above the bare minimum, but it's just lacking that depth that, um, that the main abyss manga art has. <sighs> Drives me goddamn nuts. I'm, it's a huge letdown. I don't understand why can't the art look like the title cards? What? Because the title card is what, like, you see this art in the title card, and you saw the art last week in the title cards. That's the art I want! Why can't we have more of that? Mm. Nope, my Takaji's design is still wrong. I don't like how flat it looks. It, God, I said it last week, I'm going to say it again. It really just is making me think of when Spongebob was turning normal, and he lost all his edge. His edginess. That's what this gives me. I really hate it. I do not like that. That's, god damn, now I think about it. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe Main Abyss is turning normal, just like SpongeBob did. Are you for real? Are you fucking for real? Okay, so, Mamachi Kaja is, um, saying this to, is, uh, saying this to Nanachi. It really is annoying me that this image was skipped. Um... Oh, let me pull up the page here, page number here. This is page, um, page 11. It's when Maji Kaja says, Kaja said before, but, um, Iruburu, the village knows everyone's desire, uh, desires. How, and then Nachi asks, how comes, how come it knows? But this, the image that's there in that top right panel is so gorgeous. Why did we not see this? I wanted to see this in the anime form. You had, you got the wazoo up in there. You got all these, this art is so beautiful. Why was this skipped? And then how Machikaja looks in this image is so badass. Why would you skip this? Why? Why would you not include this? I'm really annoyed by this. I don't like that they're not including like these beautiful images. I don't know what the fuck is going on over there, but God, there's no excuse for this, none. Also something else that Majikaja is supposed to do is um, because it looks like signals uh, after uh, Nanachi says, because it looks like, um, uh, because it looks like signals, um, or no, Majikata says because it looks like signals. Um, Maji, uh, Majikata has like his claws like this, and we don't see that either. I just, mm. god damn it, Majikata, you deserve better than looking like normal. The normalization of this anim, Ugh. normalization really fucks me off, fucking pisses me off. I hate this. Don't do this. 
Vaputa's cave looks okay. I really would, the thing that's really frustrating me is I kind of, I, the Saren animation is just not, is not being utilized. But, uh, in terms of emotions and shit. But, Vaputa's room is looking okay. It is. But there's supposed to be more, hold on a second. There's supposed to be way more stuff up in here. Yeah, this is wrong. Yeah, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. There's supposed to be an X on the window, not just one. Um, there's supposed to be way more stuff up in here. Why is it so barren like this? Yeah, there's some rocks, but nah, there's supposed to be rocks like right up in front of the frame. There's supposed to be way more log. Uh, are these logs or stuff? Whatever. There's supposed to be like more uh, like logs or whatever. Yeah, this is not correct. No, this room looks barren compared to what I see here in this manga. Yeah, this is not right. Nope. Nope. Mm. Papuda's eye looks better here. Yeah, it should. The iris should just be a little bit bigger. I think the pupil looks right, though. Yeah, the pupil looks right. The iris, I think, is just a little too small, though. Yeah, but let's take a look at this fur. Ooh, one of them cradles of greed is too long. But this fur, though. The fur is, the fur is just not giving that iridescence. It's really bugging me. Like, you can see... Uh, uh, Iridescence is not here. No, it's not. It really bugs me. I really want that iridescence. I don't think there's enough either. Hold up. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, what's what the problem is, besides the iridescence, is that it's not layered enough. That's the problem. It's not layered enough. Yeah, you see some of the layers, sure, but when you go, there's way more layers than this. Way more. There's like at least, it's showing you like about three layers. There's like four or five layers here. Yeah, that's the, that is a good chunk of the problem and why it doesn't look like Faputa has more hair than she does. Um, but other than that... Yeah, that's the, uh, yeah, the Cradle, the Cradle of Greed being, um, the same, uh, length is kind of a problem too. I don't like that it's the same length here. It should, one, two of them are supposed to be smaller and one of them is supposed, the one in the center is supposed to be longer, kind of giving her like this crown effect and it's not, it's not here. This is not doing it. Nah. God, it feels like the eyes are too small, too. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you, are you guys happy with the eye, shape of the eyes? And, I don't know. This just ain't working for me. Okay, when Faputa approaches Reg, like, at, the, like, the 6 minute, like, 24, 25 second mark, there is no shocked expression in the eyes, which kind of bothers me. That's been a problem, actually. Like, the facial expressions aren't what they need to be, which... It was like a huge, really big problem for me anyway. Yeah, the eyes aren't just doing, they're not doing it. At the 6 minute 41 second mark when, you know, Faputa is going to um, check and see if uh, Reg is the real Reg. Yeah, there's not enough lines in the eyes. No. Yeah, that's a problem. Aww. Okay, now this is where I'm having a problem. So you'll show Faputa doing this shit with Reg at his belly button, but you won't show Reg looking up, um, looking at Faputa's belly button and going, and then looking up at her chest. What the fuck is this double standard? This is the main abyss, I know. But I wish there was more, like, more emphasis on, on, uh, Reg's face when he, when, uh, he was screaming out in pain. But, again, 
You show this, but you do not show when Reg was looking at Faputa's, uh, Faputa's belly button and looking up. Ugh. See, this is some bullshit. Okay, I have to say it. At the 8 minute, like, 38, 37 second mark when, you know, Faputa is, um, saying that, that can't be Sosu. Reg was also Reg before so uh, Sosu. That facial expression is crap. That The eyes are supposed to be way bigger. She's supposed to look all innocent and cute and give those big puppy eyes. Where the fuck is that? <sighs> the Puna's voice actress is everything. I love her. She is, she is playing the Paputa that I pictured in my head. She is perfection. But God damn it, this art animation is not giving what it needs to give. The facial expressions are just about there for Faputa, but God damn, I wish there were some backgrounds like really bringing out that devastation, that heartbreak like we see in the manga. I, I'm kind of let down by that. Especially since this voice actress is really doing a fantastic job. That frustrates me a lot. And it really, and the other thing is, I, I have to stress this, it also concerns me for when Faputa goes into her rampage mode. I'm worried that we're not going to get the, um, that background, that rampage background that we see from her. Like when she says she's going to fuck everything up. That's why I want this background there to show her heartbreak because we see that again as she's about to rampage. I'm worried, fam. I'm really worried. Wait, 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 wait. Are we really going to skip? Um, well, first of all, we didn't see like the visual of when Reg is thinking, can I stay the way I am with like the ice and uh, like uh, with the... Um, Rico and Paputa, like, in this ice image. But, like, there's also Reg thinking about, um, about come to think of it, I, I failed to ask her if she stole Prushka or about the mail balloon. Mail balloon, should I write about my worries in Semlin? No, even if it reached them, they'd only get mad at me. Nat, Shiggy, everyone. I wonder if they're doing all right. I really hope that doesn't get completely skipped, because right now it looks like it is. But anyways, we are now at the 11-11 mark. We are at the start of Chapter 43's adaptation of the manga. Yeah, looking at Ibu Village now, just looking at it here and comparing it to the manga... Yeah, it's really confirming what I thought it was last week. It's so flat. It doesn't look anything like it does here. It doesn't. It does not have that same like texture and wonder that it does here in the in the manga. This looks this just looks so I don't know. It looks flat. Because, like, what it looks like here in the manga, it looks like something, like, under the under the sea. It looks like it, it gives you, like, this coral reef kind of feel. And it doesn't here. It looks so flat because there's, like, none of um, the... Uh, there's none of the, like, appendages popping out of it. It's just there. Yeah, there's some, yeah, yeah, no, there's some, and there's some moss and shit. But, like, it looks like the moss is just, like, painted on. Whereas this, and it looks very two-dimensional. Yeah, I know you, I know people go bitch at me, like, saying some of it looks three-dimensional. Uh, not like this, though. Nah. I'm let down by this. God damn it. I'm so let down by this art. Now, what was done with the hollows at the 12 minute, like 43, 44 second mark? I like that. I love that contrast from them just like looking at Rico and then like that darkening. That was kind of cool. I'll give you that. God, these hollows look so flat. Like at the third, at the 13 minute, 34 second mark, when, you know, she's looking for Majikaja. 
this um hollow right here, the blue hollow, it's supposed to like be um like two toned and um have like spots on it and stuff and have like texture going on from the neck down. There's none of that. What the shit, man? Ugh. It's just so goddamn flat. And the other one, if oh god, if that's yeah, the other hollow, like the one that it has like the eyes on his um the uh the head raised and stuff like that that one looks fucking awful if you're comparing it to the manga like i am and have if you have the manga right in front of you you could see what exactly what i'm talking about it looks horrible there's no texture in this head there's no the the tentacles are supposed to like come all the way down it's not supposed to have like some thin shit like where it looks like a mushroom what the fuck is this i'm telling you there's no, fr all the fun is sucked out of this. That's why I'm saying, like, all the fun in the edge is sucked out of this, uh, out of the manga with this anime adaptation. That's why I said it's very much giving me, like, when SpongeBob turned normal. I'm telling you, this is the normalization of Main Abyss, and I can't stand it. Oh, God, that eye hollow looks horrible. Oh, my God. I'm gonna say this before I keep before I forget. This soundtrack is just everything. The soundtrack keeps delivering. The soundtrack is what I want is going above and beyond. I love the soundtrack. The voice acting is is perfection. I'm getting what I want there. I'm for the most part I'm getting what I want with this writing. I, there's a couple of things skip that's really bugging me, but this art animation is just holding it back. My God. I'm really s oh. These hollows are supposed to be scary. They are not scary. What the fuck is this? And I'm talking about like a little bit before the 14 minute 30 second mark. These hollows are supposed to be scary. They are not scary. Oh my god, at the 14 minute 43 second uh 44 second mark. Oh god, this hollow looks terrible. Where is the texture? Where are the veins that are half assed? There's supposed to be way more veins going on, like uh, around the eyes and traveling through the body. Uh, this looks really bad. I'm really just gonna skip um, uh, Rico remembering everyone know, now knows your value. Uh, Kaja thinks no one will come hurt you. Yeah, we're just gonna skip that. Go Ma! Yes! I wish the bouncing looked a little bit better. I don't like how it looks like black blobs. But it is what it is, I guess. Adding the scene with Nanachi um, and uh, Machikaja as, you know, Nanachi getting led to Beloth. Yeah, I don't mind it, Kitty. Nah, I don't mind it. So at the 17 minute 47 second mark, it jumps to page 6 of chapter 44's adaptation of the manga. I don't know how to feel about this. I really don't. But I'm gonna watch the rest of this and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. The food art just does not look good. What happened? The food art used to look fantastic. I'm... Okay, let me talk about this. Um, It's so spicy my ears hurt with Skip, but let's talk about Wazoo here. Wazoo looks so much better in the face. He looks better. The jacket does not, on the other hand, does not. Oh my god, my cat's driving me nuts. I have to deal with him in a minute. Wazoo looks so much better here. The, t uh, the antenna... Mm, well, the antenna are bigger, and the, the, there's the design in the actual antenna, so there's that. Oh, and we got, we got line work up in here. 
the white side designs look right. I don't like that the, the things that are hanging off the antenna, though, are wrong. Those look like shit. Those look wrong. The jacket is wrong. It looks horrible. But I will say this, though. The face looks better. The antenna, there's some, something going on with the antenna, looks better. But everything else looks like shit. And also, Wazoo's neck, I think, is a little too big. For that, that's because of the jacket. You know what it is? It's because the jacket looks like shit. That's why Wazoo's neck looks weird here. But other than that, I'm, I'm kind of happy that Wazoo is starting to look a little bit better and look more like himself. But god damn it. Nah, this still ain't Wazoo. And also, what the fuck is hanging off Wazoo's antenna? Is that an earbud? Because that, nah, 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 nah. And it's not even the right color either. Who the fuck is this? They ain't Wazoo. Face may look like Wazoo, but that jacket is not Wazoo. Nah, that looks like shit. That looks like Party City Wazoo with the jacket. Wait, is the white side not enough on the white? Hold on. There might not be enough white. Yeah, that might be a problem. There might not be enough white on on um on Wazoo. Yeah, but I will say this: this looks a million times better than what we saw the first time. But god damn it, Wazoo, you deserve better than this. Holy shit! So okay, so let me talk about Bala first, and then we got we see Veku here at the end because we're gonna see Veku next week, I think. Bala looks fantastic here. Balaf is giving me what I want from Faputa, which is that regalness, that etherealness. That is what I want from Faputa. Why can't I get that etherealness from her? You see, from Faputa, I mean, you see that iridescence that Balaf has? That's what I'm looking for, for Faputa's fur, is that iridescence. But man, oh, Balaf needs to be a little bit longer. Um, because she's supposed to be a little bit longer. But, or, sorry, he's supposed to be a little bit longer. But Balaf, for the most part, looks really good. I'm happy with that iridescence, that etherealness, that uh, that regalness that Balaf has. Very happy. Oh, what a fantastic introduction to Veku. Oh, my God. Okay, let me just double check and make sure Veku looks right. Because it's at the end of a uh, chapter... Okay, here's my problem with Veku here. Veku is not supposed to be smiling. Veku is supposed to be frowning. I don't like that. I don't like how Veku is positioned either. Veku is supposed to be like this, petting them and, and depressed with this background. I don't like this. Hold on, let me just pull this up. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like, why is Veku smiling here? And also, this collar is shit. Right, kitties? I know you fussy. I'll deal... Uh, you just wait. This collar is ass. I hate this collar. I hate these chains. These The chains are supposed... Hi, kitties. The chains are supposed to be dripping. They're supposed to be, like, black lines of, of ink dripping. I do not like this. The hair looks horrible. The hair is supposed to be like, oh, like flipping over. She does not have enough hair here. I'm really angry with how Veku looks. You are not doing her right. No. She looks terrible. I'm pissed with how Veku looks. And she's not supposed to be smiling that she's down here. No, she's trapped down there. She's supposed to be pissed. She's supposed to, oh, well. She's supposed to be not pissed. Miserable. She has been down there for so long. She is miserable. She's not happy to be down there. Why the fuck is she smiling that she's down there? Okay. I'm going to say this. How I feel about this. I don't like this. Uh, the structure of this, of this episode. I feel like the sages... That content should have been next episode, and all of this episode should have been the Faputa Reg content. That's how I feel like this should have worked. 
I don't, I really am not down with how this went down. Because what you could have had next episode is you could have had, um, you could have had the Rico content, have the next episode focused on Rico and, um, and, uh, uh, Nanachi, meaning the sages. That would have been so much better. And then you could have gotten the conversation between Rico and, uh, Wazu, and then you could have end, and you could have had Nanachi meet with Balaf, and then you could have had like all the, the stuff with the have it lead up to um, Rico meeting up with uh, um, with Feku. I really don't like how this episode was structured. It's all over the place. Because I thought what we were going to get this episode, I thought we were going to get like all the Fapuda Reg content. That's what I thought this episode was going to be. And that he was going to have the conversation with Big Daddy. I thought that's what we were going to get this week. No, I don't like how this episode is structured. Nah. I really feel like next week should have just been straight up all the three, um, the, uh, the Veku and, uh, um, Balaf, like the introduction to Balaf and, um, and have, uh, have the stuff with Wazoo, then get the, um, the little thing with Balaf and then maybe have the stuff with Veku and get the introduction to Veku. That's what I think should have went down, but I'm really curious what you guys think. Maybe I'm the only one that's thinking that this is how it should have went down. I'm torn. I, I'm... I'm not happy with how this went down. I really think that this was very sloppy. In term, again, in terms of structure, this episode was very sloppy. This is writing slash structure. This episode was very sloppy. The art and animation was very flat. Um, the voice acting, Faputa's voice actress is perfection. I love her voice actress. And the, and the soundtrack, of course, is perfection. But... The other reason why I say that the structure is very sloppy is because it didn't flow right, at least for me, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys think, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing. Want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Main Abyss content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.